Mental health is a growing crisis across the nation. Right here in eastern North Carolina, local law enforcement are working to increase resources for mental health situations. Now, your side's Caitlin Richards is joining us in the studio after hearing more from the Greenville Police Department and their efforts to respond to those calls. So, Caitlin, how are they helping the community? Courtney, they're implementing what's called a STAR program. According to experts, more than 450,000 adults and youth in our state suffer from a mental illness or other forms of anxiety and depression. With these numbers on the rise, Greenville Police are hoping the program can help those in need. We had to take a different approach to mental health, so we partnered with um, our integrated services and we came together to come up with a new plan and we were already doing the co-responder plan, so we wanted to branch out and add the STAR part. The STAR program is still new, but STAR and the co-responder program already received the North Carolina Law Enforcement Agency of the Year Award in 2022. The co-responder program responds to situations such as suicidal behaviors, anxiety, depression, and substance use. So basically, our STAR employees, they can follow up. Um, a lot of times with our co-responders, that was a part that was missing where they couldn't do the follow-up if they didn't respond with the officers, because the co-responder responds with the officer. The STAR employee can actually respond without the officer. They can follow up on overdoses and different cases that we deal with. STAR stands for Support Team Assisted Response. The city of Greenville is one of the three pilot sites in the state to develop the program, all to provide an alternative response that otherwise would be served by police or fire rescue services. Just a few of the types of calls STAR employees respond to include welfare checks, homelessness, and non-life-threatening mental health issues. Oh, something happens and and the police come out, we do what we can, but usually we need other people to come in. You know, they're gonna to go to the hospital or there are other resources that'll come in. So what STAR can do is they can go in, they can get that information, they can call and say, hey, would you like this resource? This is what we can offer you. For more information into the STAR program and various resources here in Greenville, which help with mental health without having to call 911, we have that posted on our website at WNCT.com. In studio, Kaylin Richards, 9 on your side.